installing a manifold. To install a manifold, hold the manifold with both hands and then mount it onto the rack cabinet. Align the spools with the holes and clutch the cabinet. Repeat the previous step with the other manifold. To install the quick connect plugs on the manifolds, remove the rubber quick connect plug covers from the ports on the manifold. Connect the plug on the manifold ports. Repeat the previous step with the other manifold. To install the hose kits on the manifold, connect the hose kits to both manifolds. Wrap the clamp around the interface. Lift the screw upright and then fasten it to make sure that it is secured. Repeat the previous step with the other manifold. Wrap the clamp around the interface. Lift the screw upright and then fasten it to make sure that it is secured. To install the bleeder kit on the manifold supply inlet side, remove the rubber quick connect plug covers from the ports on the manifold. Plug the bleeder kit into the manifold. To push the air out of the manifold supply side, connect the facility supply to the manifold return outlet. Press the button on the ball valve switch. Open both switches about one quarter of 90 degrees. Attention. While keeping the manifold supply side closed, open the ball valves on the manifold return side and facility supply side. Do not fully open the ball valves or the water flow will become too rapid to contain. Slowly open the bleeder valve to conduct the air out of the hose. Close the bleeder valve when a steady stream of water is flowing into the bucket or there are only minimal bubbles in the bleeder hose. Install the bleeder kit onto the manifold return side. To push the air out of the manifold return side, connect the facility supply to the manifold supply inlet. Press the button on the ball valve switch. Open both switches about 22.5 degrees. Attention. While keeping the manifold return side closed, open the ball valves on the manifold supply side and facility supply side. Do not fully open the ball valves or the water flow will become too rapid to contain. Slowly open the bleeder valve to conduct the air out of the hose. Close the bleeder valve when a steady stream of water is flowing into the bucket or there are only minimal bubbles in the bleeder hose. Note, to make sure that there is as little air inside as possible, reinstall the bleeder kit back onto the manifold supply side and then push the air out of the manifold one more time. Close the bleeder valve when a steady stream of water is flowing into the bucket or there are only minimal bubbles in the bleeder hose. When complete, reconnect the supply and return hoses. Fully open all the connections on both the supply and return side. Press the button on the ball valve switch. Turn the switch to fully open the valves as illustrated.